Hey guys, Force Bear Studios here, back with more Spellweaver. Attack is the Frosty. Yo. And today we have shamans. Or shamans, depending on how you how want to pronounce it. it. The so, shaman. Utilizing Zash the Annihilator. Good old Wrath the Board and whatnot. As for the deck, you know, we get the cheaper fireballs now. But also the last time we played it, we had four reanimates. But since then, Offering Yard Priest has been changed to be a 1-1 that gets Might Emblems, rather than just naturally having power equal to the number of totems you control. Which means, in the Graveyard, he's got one power, and that lets us play an extra Shaman. Because he's only got one HP in the Graveyard now, before he was based on how many totems he controlled, so it wouldn't work. So, four Totem of Swiftness. Give Shamans Swiftness. If you pay an energy, eventually it dies. All totems work like that. Four Fireballs, just excellent removal spell. Three Ancestor's Guide, it's one, two. Doesn't really do anything exciting, but it is a Shaman, so it triggers all our totems. Four Offering Yard Priest, basically the big beater of the deck. This guy can come down, and thanks to Offering, or Totem of Swiftness, and all the other totems in the deck, he can swing for five to seven pretty quickly with Swiftness. So he's just kind of a monster. That's how it goes. For Racky Tribe Mystic, he's, it's a 2-3 Shaman, but it refreshes all the totems by a single energy, so basically you can use them all without fear because he'll just refresh them all. For Totem of Legends, it's a 2-mana totem. Draws his cards whenever we play a Shaman. Definitely a thing that you want to be doing. For Lightning Totems, this is our removal spell. There's also a totem. Dealing two damage whenever we cast a shaman. Two cannonade to help clear the board. Four totem of tortures. Drains our opponents for a bit of life. Just helps us keep us alive. Still just a totem for offering air priest. Four death curse shaman. By far the most playable shaman, though never in a shaman shell. <laughs> it's 1-1. One, one. When it dies, eat get to noxious fume something or make them lose two life but he is a shaman surprised by that name and so he can trigger all our totems for us and for swamp god emissary it's a three two he's a shaman for three mana but normally you're paying him for five mana and he can return a creature with one hp from the graveyard to the field which is i mean you can buy back these you can buy back these yeah that's all it really needs to do is just mostly this one as for spell shrines, we're playing a full four mountain sanctuaries because this helps us get totems, so hey, why not? And we're trying to go up double rage for Sash the Annihilator's ability, so yeah. With that, I guess let's see how it goes in game one. Game one against Rin Riet. I think we keep this. Rin Riet? Where's Jorio? Say what? Jorio. Jorio and Rinriet. A I'm... classic love story. Just <laughs> say. I, I... <laughs> Maybe you're reaching a little bit there. No. Not reaching at all. <laughs> Anyways, so far, looking like my. We can get a very hasty 1 2 on the field. Is it worth it? Nah. Probably not. I think we'll just hold up Fireball for whatever he plays. Could always use the hero ability, but yeah. I don't know. I would almost hold on to that Fireball because you're playing against. Uh, but I mean, Kyan. if you play something decent, we he... can just Fireball it. If not. Absolutely. Ooh. Hate Bears? Well, it's probably not Hate Bears. It's going to be Hate Bears. You probably have the bits, but I think Hate Bears is more defined by Nieva. Right. Just well, swarming the board with her hero ability. I this guess that would... probably a more mid rangey shell. Yeah, I just kind of realized that. I'm like, what do you mean? And then I'm just like, oh, right, right. I guess that's... Would make more sense. Well, I think that's pretty timely. We'll just, uh, go looking. Ooh, that's a tough decision. Do we want cards or removal? 
Oh, we have two removal spells in our hands. That, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Removal. Cards. Or yeah, we want cards. So say you. We have two removal spells. So and so we want more, more removal. Removal? What? <laughs> and we have no idea what we're facing yet. Maybe they're waiting for us to make a play, well, which is not a smart when you're playing up against totems. You don't no. want to let totems ramp up, especially like this where we're not even we're not even using the energy from the totems yet. So unless you have a lot of removal. So you're going, <gasps> wow. Okay, well, there's one removal. It'd be hilarious if they played I'd like... I honestly have taken this one. But, sure, yeah. whatever. Look at that. Wow. It's not bad. Now you can finally start playing things. Oh, my goodness. Uh, of course. Still good, though. We not got plenty of them. Oh, I mean, around. getting them early on, I think, is actually more worthwhile than getting them later, because it's mm -hmm. probably the least important totem. Try to wave. <laughs> Whatever. That was weird. Played up. Oh, did it? I didn't... Actually, yeah, it did. I didn't really comprehend that, but yeah, it totally did. Haunt. Boo. Eh. Whatever. It's not really doing too much. I guess it's disabling these essentially for the life, but not doing much else. Ooh. Ooh, miss. Surprising. Well, I think we go for this still. Drain. Gonna give him a. Slave, two slaves, and chain slaves. Who play this? Hmm. I think we do just because he can't get two effects from it. Because Haunt only triggers once a turn. Ah, oh, we didn't draw land either. I did not realize Haunt only triggered once a turn. Actually. Well, yeah, but now it gives you two now. For the first time, each turn. I never noticed that before. It used to be whenever. But yeah. Now they've changed it, so it's only once, but it gets two at once. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. Getting a bit of mana that way. Yeah. I mean, that really grows our ancestors' guide, though. <laughs> yeah. Sure, you can get a bunch of mana, but... You've got two massive threats now. And they're back up to 19. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> my, oh my. Thing is, all the life he's gaining really just does not compete well with uh, this Ancestor's Guide. Obviously, he just needs to play more in Chain Souls so he can keep up with it. But it still won't this matter. This is beautiful, though. Wow. Oh my goodness. Aren't you happy you just played that? Yeah. Assuming he doesn't just kill us here. Or just win the game from this life game. No, they only have one mana left. There's no way. This is mana for creatures. So assuming he has a bunch of shrieking banshees, mm. it's well within the possibilities. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> no way. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. That is beautiful. Holy oh. <laughs> shit. Guess we should have held. Uh would holding up fireball have even done anything? Because it's not really instant speed in Spellweaver like it is in Magic, so I don't oh. think we'd have got the trigger anyway, but... Holy shit. <laughs> That's all I have to say. This is amazing. That is the weirdest win I think I have ever seen. This deck was amazing. No, you know, you just, yeah, you gotta <laughs> cast that. I like how he's been playing for so long that the timer's going yeah. down now. I was just gonna pass. Uh, if we had a fire blast, 
Oh. You would not be winning this. That'd be, that would have been hilarious. I don't even, man. Like, If we had a fire blast, you would have punted. This would have been a straight punt, but we don't have fire blasts in LA, so it's safe. But... Wow, look at those rocks. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> like, I'm surprised you just didn't forfeit, honestly. Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Here, we'll just attack you with a 29-2. <laughs> is it sad that this... Yeah, there we go. That wouldn't even have killed them. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious. <laughs> that, was that was amazing. amazing. <laughs> well, let's see how we go in game two. Game two against Dr. Cumbria. Cumbia. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. I don't think we keep this. I think you should have kept it. Actually, that's not bad at this all. This is pretty good. Uh, yes. Yeah, pretty good indeed. No! Excellent. He's like the least exciting shaman. I don't care if it's the least exciting. The thing was a 29-2 in one of your games. In the first game, yes. Unfortunately, we lost that one. <laughs> quite horribly. Hilarious Hilariously, fashion. but quite horribly for us. Because we had a 29 <laughs> two attacking, and that wouldn't have even been lethal had it finished attacking. It's pretty sad. <laughs> pretty sad indeed. What's we got? Totem, totem. We got something, something. A lot of torture, that's what we got. That's the second game now that you, uh, this is the second game now that you have two, uh, totems of. Or can we say Thingies. we like torture here? Tortures. Th that's it. That's it. New Horizons. Ancient Wisdom. Oh man, nice. Trying all the things, huh? Sure. Yes. Swift. Damage gain life. Damage gain life. And the talk beats. Not bad. We already have Lord Carthus. We have two wizards and two spells, dominions. So that's not a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's bad for us, but it's not a surprise at the very least. Hmm. Nothing to return as of yet, so it'd just really be draining. Mm hmm. And that's not very exciting. Mm hmm. We gotta go fast. <laughs> I don't think it's really necessary to go that fast. It's more for letting the one guy go big. <gasps> Gatadors. Oh. What side is it on? Gaining life. Figured. It's, almost... it's actually fine for us. Mm hmm. Wow. Still sucks though. It does, but we can have giant guys, so. Like that guy. It's not that giant yet. Just give it a sec. Ooh. He can go fast. We can drain him. Can he drain. does not need to go fast there or there. I think we are gonna go yep. back. And then fireball with the spark of initiative. And throw a 7-7 seven, seven at you. That works. Good play, good play. That's what I mean, Scatador is just not as scary when we can pretty nicely just create a giant 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh no. It's frozen. Oh no. It got Whatever shot. will we do? Damn. It's a damn Oh, shame. damn. No. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. No. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. This is the part about no. Chums I hate playing against. Dead. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Nice. <laughs> This is, seriously, it's the part about Shams I hate playing against. Just like, yes, yes no, yeah. yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, 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 yes. Really no. only matters when you have a whole bunch of the haste ones because you can't utilize those. Mostly it's just clicking yes, but. Yeah. And of course, there was like in between each one, so. But hey, we managed to win. Nice. And let's see how it goes in game three. Game three against Castaneda. Do we keep this? It's... Uh, no, it's got one land. No, no. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I just not. can't trust myself with one land. <laughs> That's actually how I used to Charged feel all right. in like... When I first started playing Magic the Gathering, that's how I felt. It just like, one land can't do anything. Let's just mulligan and hope <laughs> for the best. Okay, I forfeit this match. I'm done. Yes, one I was beat. one of those people. Or one of those. No, I was. This was when I first started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna go for. Nowadays, I just use sleight of hand to legends. cheat. Is that why you always have soul ring? That's pretty much why I always have soul ring and mana crypt together. Oh my, he's got a two-two frosty. Whatever shall we do? Mana crypt it. Yes, I know what Mana Crypt does, and I know that makes no sense, but just just do it. How about... Fireball that Boundary Engineers. Yeah. I think that's pretty reasonable. I was trying to remember what the two mana Fireball effects are, but I can't actually remember them. There's Lightning Bolt, but that's one mana. What are the two mana ones? There's lightning strike. That's what it was. Mm. What's going on on that side of the field? Oh no, he's going to draw a bunch of cards. That could be yeah. really bad for us. Could. Probably will be. Do we just go for this, knowing he'll just get eaten? I think so, because he draws us a card. That or we just... No, I don't think we go totems. I think we play the chump blocker. That draws us a card, because why not? Well, the card draw is kind of nice. So at least next turn you can also have two Death Curse Shamans. We'd really just like, you know, an Offering Yard Priest, and we're good. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> if you oh, can we expected. Yeah, if you can stabilize though, it's not big deal, but the way it's looking at the moment, that's quite the field presence. Yeah, that is quite the field presence. And you really don't have a board wipe except maybe hero ability, which you're not that close to. Um, that's probably even correct, but this is the plan we're going with. Yes, and then yes. swing him in. in. Yeah. Charge! Take out one creature and then have their abilities go off. Honestly, don't think it's the worst thing in the world, because you got through Force Mage Protector Shield, and you got rid of Golem. Mm-hmm. We're still not in a great position, but it at least lets us live a bit longer. Mm -hmm. Slow him down quite a bit. Oh, the card draw. Card draw's fine. We got tons of card draw, too. We could draw, like, so many cards. Yeah, but can you play yeah. those so many cards? Yeah, we have cards? to live long enough to play those. That's the problem we're in. 
You can only take so many more beats. You really can. Graveyard has... Nah. I think that's actually decent. Hmm? Not the haste bit. Or is the haste? Yeah, the haste no, bit, haste bit I... is relevant for this guy. Drawing a card, yes. Yes, we would like to use the ability. Here's a shaman. He does not need haste. Yes, he does. But he yes, does he need did. us to draw his card. Definitely need a shaman with haste. So you could take out that stupid fairy. But that's actually not quite... Yeah, that's not... Just not enough. Because we're at six. So unless he does something silly like flash freeze this. That is tidal wave then easily does it now. Yeah. He only needs to send it to one one, but hey. We get stomped. Just a bit. Just a bit. Oop. Just a wee only little once. bit. Just one turn away from our hero ability. But sometimes that's how it goes. That's Don't the breaks. Beat. Oh man, but that first game, I can't get over that. It was that hilarious. First game was, I can't. That deck was amazing. That was beautiful. We didn't even see the deck. That's the thing. <laughs> it was like, what is he doing? And then he won. But yeah, that was Shamans. All in all, pretty interesting games, at least for the first two. And I guess with that, we'll see y'all next time.